There we go. Toast me. Toast. Oh, yeah. Boom. Back again with another ancient puzzle from Sam Lloyd. We're hanging out at the handlebar. We got Jason, John, and Tyler. Did it. Nailed it. Still two Nailed drinks it. in. We're good. Yeah. <laughs> Last time we talked about the dots and boxes puzzle. This one's much, much simpler, right? This is one you want after they've had a few drinks and you want to make it a contest. So in this case, we're going to have a contest with this story. The original story as it was written was that there's an apartment building with 12 different occupants and all of them are tired of listening to the out of tune organ grinder grinding his organ. All of them have their heads out the windows saying, just take some money and leave. Okay. So organ grinder has his monkey. Monkey can jump up. Now there is a gap though. So first floor, kind of a wider second floor than third floor or fourth floor. There's nobody on this one who's participating. So the question is, what is the shortest path his monkey should take to collect all of the money and then move them on to the next building? If I give you enough time, I am certain you guys will come up with the answer. So part of winning free drinks at the bar is yeah. by being flexible. So in this case, right. I'm gonna put an artificial limitation where okay. each of you gets to trace a path from the monkey exactly once, Whew. and then it's okay. my known solution versus what you guys come up with. Okay. So who wants to go first? One of you just had a birthday. Oh, <laughs> yeah, he did. Can I, can I go diagonally? You can. Okay. No matter where you start? Uh, well, you have to start where the monkey yes. is. <laughs> <laughs> not very, it's not a good round, probably. God damn it. That is, that is the published solution. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> and you just nailed it, my friend. The birthday boy gets a free beer on Brian. That was great. Dude, this was an awesome experiment because I tried to make you think fast on the spot and normally you would get, and I thought I had you when you asked like, can we do diagonals? And I was like, yeah, you're like, oh. But of course, if you did diagonals, you would just be taking the longer way because a hypotenuse is longer than you know the other two sides. You just want to go straight for the ones that make this M. But the important part is you legit solved it fair and square. I owe you a drink. Oh, Happy birthday. There well we go. done, guys. Oh, nice. I'm done. I'm done. Good fortune. Good, good fortune. <laughs>